Hello and welcome back to the Canny Caledonians in Imperator Rome. So, I thought we'd start today with a little bit of housekeeping because, well, we haven't done it in a while. Basically, first of all, who are we? We haven't even looked at this at all. So, we're foolish, so lowered finesse. We're rash, so lowered finesse. And citizen happiness. Oh great, we're just a fantastic ruler so far. Good natured, so we can have more friends. Pointless. Uh, tributary opinion of us. Wow, okay, not looking good so far. Coward? So, Marshall is down, as is morale of armies. Uh, loyalty gain chance is also down. Uh, polymath, so our zeal is down. However, we oh, uh, we do get 5% extra national citizen output, so that is a little bit of extra tech. Okay. But we also have arthritis, so Lord Marshall and Finesse. We're just awful. Yeah. Who put this guy in charge? Anyway. Uh, so basically we want to save a, a religious power for when we die, so that's good to know. Let's just make sure we've got our um, people set up here. So we've got a couple of 12s in terms of our oratory ones. War chiefs, uh, we only have 9s. Um, here we have a 14. Ooh, I should put that on something good. Maybe Owen power is pretty good. Uh, and we have nothing there. Okay. Yeah, we have a 9 there. Okay. Maybe I should put my 14, uh, that's in religious, into tech. So I replace one of these with a 14. That uh, guy's got... Oh wait, that's oratory, never mind. Um, no, I am going to make this a 14. So we can get 155% research speed. Because that sounds brilliant. Even if we're not getting the research as quickly as we could, unlocking it gives us bonuses anyway. So, I mean, what does unlocking this give us? It would give us more omen power. I mean, that's good, right? I mean, we do have an ahead of time um, negative plus 33 years, which seems like we're quite ahead of time. But, you know, at the same point, we still have 155% research speed, so that's pretty good. Uh, here we can replace it with a 12. Um, yeah, we might, we might put a 12 up there. You're a 12 already, and you are 9. Okay, so that's everybody set up. Uh, I think I had another 12 for this, so tribesman happiness or aggressive expansion change, but we're not expanding, so um, there. I might as well actually replace you with an 11 anyway. Um, best I have is 11 there, so don't need to do anything. I have an 11 here as well. Uh, uh, I guess I'll put it in, even though I don't really want the extra health, we'll still put it in. That's fine. Um, we've, we're getting manpower back, which is lovely. We're in a position where once we build a couple of forts, we might want to be considering an attack on Dubunia. Um, now, how strong are they? As not strong. How, um, when's the truce? That was the word I was looking for. Two years. Can we have the forts built in two years? Potentially. Uh, no. No is actually the answer. If you count, um, the number of days left, actually the answer is 100% no. But, you know, we'll have the forts up soon. So, we'll see. It's fine. Uh, but I should get the forts building as soon as possible if we are, aren't going to have the money. Uh, sorry, if we're having to wait more time. Uh, yes, that's fine. So where do I want the next fort? Well, let's, let's move on from me misspeaking. Uh, I want one there and I want one up here. I think the one up here is much more important. Because um, it's a little bit more into our main land. So yeah, I want to put a fort up here. Um, I would need to get rid of a marketplace, but I'm okay doing that. Yeah. Get rid of the marketplace, get a fort. That is absolutely okay. We are probably going to destroy a bunch of these forts at the end of the Dubunia War, because, one, to be honest, they're useless after this war. Because, I mean, these guys aren't going to cause us a problem, which means that, effectively, it would be a sea attack, at which point forts become fairly useless outside of defending key spots. Like, maybe ports would be useful to have forts on there. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, it, it's not going to be as useful. So, they're only temporary. What do I want here? I could get more national man I, manpower, but I don't necessarily need that anymore. I can get something like tax. If I'm after forts, maybe I just get tax. Also might allow us to get a little bit of a war chest going, which would be um, very nice. Yeah, so we're now making eight a month. Uh, do I have everything set down to the right amount in terms of economy? That's low. Fort maintenance is low. Wages doesn't matter. Commerce, all of that's fine. Um, 
Given that I'm ahead, I could actually go for horse taxation. Oh, I don't need to, because actually that gives me nothing. Um, commerce, I'm already on the top one there. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Don't need to worry then. Oh, apparently I don't need to worry about what, oh, whatever that pop-up was. Okay, so you would like furs from Britannia, okay? So we would lose the starting experience bonus. Not at all worried. It's fine. Uh, it makes little difference to me in terms of um, how I'm going to play, so let's just ignore it. Is this the full army? It is, but they are loyal. Mm. Uh, that's fine. I, I might just make them go and sit on top of someone else. Maybe I'll make them go sit there. Th there's a three as well. That three might go and sit next to the nine. And then we have a four. The four can go and sit next to this nine. Yeah. Basically, go find a buddy to go and stand on top of. So that means we have some slightly larger armies and potentially better leaders. Um, yeah, potentially. Um, that's fine. Um, we almost have enough for our next four. Oh, I completely missed uh, our uh, July date here, but we have to move one of the people from here over to one of these. Uh, let's take this one. Sure. Uh, we'll move one over. Nice. A little bit more land, and our name is continuing to get even more uh, bendy. Which is fantastic. It's part of the goal of the game. More bendy, larger names, all sorts of good stuff. What are we missing? A wise one. Okay. Uh, you are the new wise one. Sits in happiness. Okay. It's fine. Uh, I have enough. I think this is where I want my last fort, down here. Uh, I need to get rid of one of these. Uh, I'm going to get rid of tax for four. Yeah. So that thing gives us uh, three extra forts, which means that we should be covering everything. So this one uh, covers those two. This one covers all of that. This one will cover, well, effectively this singular city. And then this one will cover, um, well, effectively this city. But that's okay. Um, when we start the war, we will get a bunch of sieges, which is a fantastic way to start a war, is just getting free sieges. Uh, how strong are they? They have 90 cohorts. Somebody did mention that the war screen actually has a, um, it has your actual army size on it, which would have been easier to look at. Uh, I knew that it wasn't their actual size here, but there was potential for us to work things out. Oh, they're at war with, um, Demetia. Interesting. I don't think there's much I can do there. Um, I think they're being attacked as well, would be my guess. Yeah, these guys are definitely being attacked, and it's not looking good for them. But, yeah. Not really a lot we can do to interfere right now. Our truce doesn't end for until March. I don't really want to attack. Well, I mean, we are at full strength. There's no reason why we couldn't attack. Hmm... This one finishes at 144, in 144. I think we attack in 144. I think that makes sense. And then we just try and defend our sides here. We have dementia. Wow, we've become worse somehow. Yep. Our health is perfect, though. But, you know, we've become much, much worse. Yeah. We should die in um, 50 months, is that? Is that in months, our health? Uh, Yeah, it's in months, so... Yeah, not f 50. No, yeah, 50, roughly. It's fine. Um, Want to wait for this one to finish before we move in. Oh, you know what I should do? Fabricated lame. That uh, makes a lot of sense. Before I start, uh, what am I going to fabricate a claim on? Which one of these is where I want? Mm, not that one. Not that one. Um... I think I want a claim on... What? Do I still have a claim, actually? I do still have a claim. Oh, I don't need a claim. That's fine. Uh, we'll hold off, then. Just wait until... Oh, you know what you'd also do if we're going to declare war? Uh, switch these on. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Yep. Uh, the Stars of War. The signs of the stars have been clear according to our druids and proclaim that our many victories are to come. No matter who our enemies may be, our triumph will be certain as we move to take our rightful place as the rulers of, Ca of 
the Caledonian Confederacy. Now it's time to find somewhere to lead our troops and fulfill our destiny. I have not heard a better, you know, time to declare a war than now, right? It is time to, you know, fulfill our destiny in 24 days time. It is time to fulfill our destiny. Right. Our morale isn't high, but I was told to declare war by the gods. And by the gods, I will declare war. Right. Uh, which one are we going for? Uh, if we go to province view, let's just have a look. Britannia, Cornova. Uh, I think I want to declare war for uh, Dubunia. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, that's fine. So, down heat, they have a lot of armies, and they're probably full, well, mostly full strength. So we want to start off with moving in here. I'm just going to move this army into, actually, I'm going to move this army in behind into siege there, right? Actually, you stay there. That's fine. You're going to head back this way, and then you can back up both of those. Up here, uh, I'm thinking I'm just going to chill out with these two armies. Yeah. Just for just now. Because I don't really want them to move, because that's where they're going to attack. So, I want them to just get some morale. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. Still a little bit worried about where things are. That's okay. Hmm. Okay. We are getting a bunch of sieges for free, though. Stars of War. Okay, so we get religious power and morale of armies. The druids in the stars awaited our troops to march upon an enemy, and we have found one in Dubunia. With a ceremony to bless our troops, we move forward to find the triumph we were promised. Okay. Uh, when can I do the next one of these? Uh, August 26th. Okay. Great! Also, getting these gives us vision, which is huge, because now I know, actually... I don't want to have our troops here. I want to have our troops up this way to defend this place. Yeah, definitely. And these 21, I kind of want to move in like even further along. They're still heading down in this war. They're still focusing on this war. I'm happy waiting here for them to work out where they need to be. We'll get some forts in their land while they're busy. You know, this is fine. Please go defend them. They think we should win, but our morale is lower, which is worrying. Okay. I'm happy to have more going in here. You can go here, right? Yeah. Good. Um, I see. Just chill out there, and then you should be able to go to either. Right. We are moving up. We're still a province away. Our morale is our biggest problem here. Oh, back off, back off, back off, back off. If we lose the fort this building, that's fine. Oh my god, our morale is so low. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Merge up there. Do I want to send the twi- Oh, back up, back up, back up, back them up, back them up. They're locked in. Okay, they're arriving on the 29th. We're arriving in September. Okay, hopefully we can survive long enough. This is not a good start to the war. Um, pretty much because I declared war when the signs were right, not when I was ready. Which is not the best uh, way to handle things, I would imagine. We do have a lot more troops right now on this initial fight. Because they only sent in 4,000 to start. Okay. Yeah. But that's because the rest are arriving like the same later, later the same day. Okay. So we got 11 days on that one. Up here, we should be able to catch this army with both of ours. Our morale is going to tick up again because it's the end of the month, which is nice. Um, uh, that's there we lost. Oh, wow. Do I still want to attack in? I think I want to hold off. Yeah. We're not locked. I don't want to attack in just yet. We're, we're not back. We're not retreating that far. I mean, these ones are retreating, but that's fine. This one's still good. It still thinks we've got a good fight. I'm going to take it. So 
So 13,000 versus 10. Uh, we don't have an awful lot attacking here. I guess that's because that's our one army. There we go. There's the rest. And um, they take a lot of negatives because it's R4. That's the other nice thing about forts is we can actually get the defensive bonuses. On the 15th, we arrive. Okay. Um, why don't you go... Actually, why don't you start making your way up and around? Yeah, you head up there. And you just move in to defend the 12th. Yeah. I'm not worried about down here anymore. I want this fort first. Okay. I'm hoping that I'm giving these guys time to uh, actually move forward. How many troops do they have in total, by the way? Let's have a look here. So... We have a lot more chariots, is what I'm getting at from this one. Uh, yeah, so we have about 10,000 more light cav. We have... Um, about 5,000 more light infantry because they're more. They have we have 20,000 more um, chariots and we have about 8,000 more archers. So we should be feeling pretty good about how things are going in this war. You know, as it goes on. Right now we're not feeling great, but are they coming to join in? They shouldn't be looking at how it's going. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Let's march our way through. These ones I'm going to bring back to back up here, I think. Yeah. Um, I know I'm going to take attrition by doing this, but I'm fine taking attrition. That's not an issue right now. Uh, I'm also going to take attrition standing here, but again, I'm worried about these uh, 20,000 and I want to be secure in what we're taking. Okay. I think we... Can I move directly there? I can. Fantastic. When these 20,000 arrive, I want to atta attack in with, with both of our armies. I know it's a river, um, which isn't great, but I think we should be fine there. Okay. Uh, you would like stone from Britannia. Sure, because it doesn't have any forts I'm really worried about. Okay, so this one should be able to turn around. I'm just going to bring him back to defend in here. Or to, like, probably stand in Rete. Yeah. They're, they're backing off from that siege, which is nice. Do I have any major armies here I can move off? If I move the 17, that leaves a 9 army. So let's move... Move to the side of the 17. Over to... Deva. Yeah, that's okay. I know I'm bringing 20... Oh, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Everybody head up this way. Uh, yeah, wait, wait in there. Right. That's fine. I got 20,000 who are coming to back up this side. The 10 have almost reached their uh, retreating place. Our morale is not quite there with this army, but some of the other armies have some morale, which is nice. Right. So they're just chilling out there. Yeah, head in here. Oh, am I missing a commander in one of these armies? No, I guess one of my commanders just has zero skill. Wow. Okay. Um, that's really not good, I would say. Um, yeah. Which one has zero skill? Yes, yeah, this guy. With the 17,000, of course. Yes, yeah, so the 17,000 always needs an escort, probably by the one, I would imagine. We are about to take this fort, which is a great start to the war for us, taking one fort. As it opens up what we can do a little bit, we'll probably move down to this one next and try and uh, take this side of their country and just, like, narrow down what they actually have left. Yeah. Also, once we get this for um, fortress finished, we'll be in a good situation. Yeah. Our siege is won. Nice. Okay, so now we have that siege. Uh, I attempted to split up this army slightly. I'll send the 10,000 there. Uh, I'll just move the 14,000 down to sit in that spot. They don't have any morale right now, but that's okay. Just want to push our way forward here. Be a little aggressive with our movements. See if we can get them to mess up. Okay. Uh, are they heading down here? Wait, where are they heading? They're heading into this one, which is where I am. 
Okay. Let's just see if they're they're willing to take it. Yeah, okay. They're they're locked. Okay, we're we're into this fight then. Okay. Um just move your way up there. We don't need that many over here. Right. 20,000 men is like half their well, about about half their strength. Bit less than half their strength. Okay, we're locked. They're locked. Invention. Fort maintenance could be useful. Supply limit. Uh, I'm actually going to take supply limit because um, we're taking attrition everywhere because I am over my supply limit. So it basically just saves us manpower right away. So that's good. Okay. 20,000 versus 20,000. We start with higher morale. Okay. We also have a. You can see the kind of makeup here. We have a lot more chariots in this fight, which is interesting. I don't know if that's good, but we have a lot more of them. We also have another 28,000 arriving in two days, which uh, will probably be the main deciding factor. I don't think the number of chariots is quite going to uh, affect when we have this many more troops, you know? Yeah. Okay, we lost uh, nine, well, pretty much 9,000. They lost 7,000, but percentage strength of armies, they lost a lot more, I'd say. Okay. So 17,000, I'm going to send, well, do they have any forts over here? I don't think they have any forts over here. Let me just double check using the simple method. They have no forts in this side of the uh, area. Okay, interesting. So, hmm. Where, where do they have their fort? So there's a fort, right? No. Wait, so, is this their only fort? Let me just have a look here. I'm just double checking that that's their only fort, the one we're on right now. Well, yeah, that would be their only fort. Because we've already taken that one. That and their capital. Oh, they've got one down here. Okay. I think that's their only fort. Interesting. Okay, we're, and that's the, and that's their capital as well. So that's their capital fort. Okay, so this is their only remaining fort that they have available to them. Okay, so we probably want to blanket siege over here a little bit, try and get as much land as we can, like just in general. So we're we're gonna send uh, the eight hundred up with them. No, not the eight hundred. We're gonna send the two thousand up with them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, and then the rest of the armies that are here are going to stay there for a second. Nice. Okay. We got 16,000 with an eye patch heading up this way. Yeah, let's just march our way along. See if we can spot anything while we do so. We can spot uh, an extra 15,000 walking away along here. Okay. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Turn around, come back. Ooh, that's an additional eight. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Uh, you know what? Maybe just go one province away. See how that goes for you. <laughs> yeah, don't don't spread out that much. Are we about to be caught here? I think we're about to be caught here. Break the siege, head up here. We are about to be caught in that province, in that city. Okay. We're not looking great just with the armies we have there right now. Where do we want to go? Oh, well, I remember. Probably missed one of these. No, I lack the civic power. Oh, okay. Um. That siege is going. They're heading into Rate. They are going to catch our army there. Yeah, head up, head up to the fort. That seems like a good place to start, and then we'll work out where we want to go after that. Can I retreat from this battle yet? On okay. Although, we're not doing that badly. We could retreat. Yeah, okay. 
We killed 4,500 and we lost 2,000. And now we're retreating back to this one, which is absolutely fine for us. They're locked into some dumb movement up here. So I'm tempted to just move in. Yeah, that seems like a great idea. If they're locked in, let's take advantage of it. And then with our other side, basically just going to move down here and start sieging. Yeah. Not sure about this battle, but I think, yeah, now it's sure about this battle. And th that army isn't actually there, like a lot of the army that we're, that it's worried about, I think. Yeah. Okay. That is great for us. What's happening? Where are you heading? Rate. I mean, if you want to join in with this, do not let me stop you. Feel 100% free to join in. Um, they're locked. Wow. They're actually joining in. This is suicidal. Because we have just destroyed that one. Yeah, okay. And now they're sending in another army? Yeah, that's great for us. Because this isn't even, like, our... F we still have another 13,000 up here we're not using. Yeah, okay. Send them in that way. Yeah. And then this army gets absolutely crushed. Yeah, okay. Uh, so both of you going to head down there. Both of you going to head down there. Right. That's fine. Absolutely crushed them again. We can now march on these 12,000. There's nothing stopping us. We have 32. We are taking attrition, but, you know, still okay with that. Right. More sieging over this side. Taking what we can. Right. Uh, oh, they just moved to the side. That's sneaky. Uh, we should catch him here this time. Okay. It's fine. Um, once that one finishes. Okay. Head over there. Head over there. We are moving out of our normal territory. But that's okay. As in we're moving out of where we want to. Um, we're moving away from our other troops. That was the better way of saying what I just said there. <laughs> Rather than just saying something that's nonsense. You know, occasionally just speak real words that mean things. Uh, that said we were catch them and then we didn't catch them. Or does that just say if there was a if there was to be a battle the battle would be uh, like this. But there is not going to be a battle. Okay. That's fine. We caught them. We have double their troops. Um, looks like we lost a bunch of ours there. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it does look like we lost a bunch of ours. Okay. Uh, we should have crushed them, though, now. Yeah. We lost so many troops. We lost 9,300 there. That's... Cr that's that is vicious. Okay. I might need to ro rotate some out here. You know, let's rotate all of them out to... Like, that province. We'll just move them back here. We're not going to do anything in that province. We're just going to sit in there. Right. Finish these sieges. Also, what's nice about finishing these sieges is that should deny vision from them. I don't know if that affects the AI, but if it does, it's useful, you know? In theory, it should mean that we have complete vision over what's happening, and they don't. That's a large army heading up here. They can't pass the forts, which is nice. However, we're not standing on the forts, are we? Uh, so let's just back our way around here. Oh, they're heading up this way because I don't have this fort finished yet. 13,000 uh, adjustment up to up to here. Yeah. 9,000 is going to head around this way. Now, the nice thing is as well, this war is now being pushed back on on that side. Yeah. Actually, yeah, you back into there and you head this way. Is this quicker? Okay, if you say so. So up here we're sieging. How many men do they have now? 36,000, 44,000. They have 44,000 men. Okay. It's fine. Plus some boats. Okay. They want a siege that we're going to take back automatically. I'm not overly worried about it. Uh, I want to move over here and block. I also want this army to move, like, over here. 
that really the quickest route? I would prefer if you took like this route round actually. Yeah. Just walk around that way, see if that helps out at all. Right, this army is gonna head down here. Finishing this siege. And now we're now we're starting to get this bit where we're we're corralling them in. So we know they're not coming from this side. So we can start to work on that. We still have most of the forts. We have 25,000 in here. We don't want them to cancel that being built. Yeah, just take the quickest route now. Now that we know we're fighting, just take the quickest route. Okay. So our commanders are even. Yep, we have more men. Uh, we have a lot less chariots and a lot more light cav. We have the ex well, the tactics are equally as good, but we have more discipline, which is, I guess, nice. Um, right, I definitely missed the timing on the colonization here. I don't think we can actually do the colonization on timer with this character, because we only get four a month. So it's, well, I mean, we can almost do it. I guess it's because I bought that technology and that, um, screwed up our timings. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So, another one's being taken here. And we can move down in... You just... Oh, I guess they, they must have taken a fort in there. Yeah. Okay, fort in that city. Over this side, we are winning. Still. It's tough, but we're winning. We lost a bunch of troops, but... Overall, um, they just didn't have the morale to keep going. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, uh... 16,000 of our troops were killed, and we killed six, uh, we killed about 7,000 of theirs. So, if you could just back off, I'm gonna move these 13,000 in there, and then our other armies from the, um, yeah, from the western side are gonna come down here. Okay, yeah. We'll leave these guys at home for a little bit just to recover. A feud. Okay. Um, gain loyalty with someone who has 100 loyalty, gain loyalty with someone who has 77, gain 100 gold. Or it belongs to the gods. Um, I'll gain loyalty with him. That's fine. Yep. Um, this is going to move down here. You want stone from Caledonia. Sure. Sounds good. The armies are recovering up here. Which is nice. Head down this way. Yep. Yep. And now we can just start moving, like, uh, moving across as, like, a unit of two here. Which would be great. So you head down to Dorne. And, um, we might get some people down here to move. Oh, no, I'm still happy for them to recover a little bit. Our uh, construction finishes in 70 days. Are they marching through that territory to get to us? Or are they marching through that territory to get to this war? To get to that war. Okay. That is annoying that they can walk across there to get into that bit. Yeah, it does kind of screw what we've got going on. Oh, I don't have military access through them. That's probably why I can't enter, right? Yeah. You want to give me military access? Yeah. Right, I can now walk down here and join in here, which I think is something I really want to do. Yeah, I think I want to be a part of something over here. Right. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.